Yo, 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 guys. Right now, I'm heading towards the Army Open House at the F1 Pit Buildings. And, yep, today I'm going to talk about a pretty, I wouldn't call it a sensitive issue, but a pretty pretty important issue I have in my mind uh, is not regarding uh, motorcycling or anything it's regarding the way media has been working towards certain news and how news are portrayed these days yeah, so you guys probably know about the, the Manchester attacks and the Jakarta attack if I'm not wrong is it Jakarta? Anyway, it's in Indonesia. The attack by the two terrorists. So the thing about uh, all these terrorist attacks, it's the way media portray them to be. You know, when it's a uh, when it's a uh, Muslim who did the attack, they call it a terrorist attack. But if it's a uh, someone from another religion or don't even talk about religion here like someone who terrorizes people like um, school shooting or you know the anything that terrorizes a bunch of people they wouldn't call it terrorists but they call them mentally insane or you know whatever reason other than being a terrorist you see when the thing about the media it's when it's when Muslim is concerned, it's most likely a terrorist attack. No, no, nothing else. It's always a terrorist attack when it comes to a Muslim terrorizing people. You don't hear them talking about the Columbine attack as a terrorist, as a terrorist attack. Or the school shooting with you know, the killing kids. They don't call it a terrorist attack. So, the way media works these days is... Only Muslims are, are deemed a terrorist, I mean. And I don't really like how the way the media is portraying news, you know, that way. I mean, uh, yes, they did terrorize people, but why only are they labeled terrorists, you know? If you start labeling a religion, you know, a religion as a terrorist threat, there are bound to be hate groups popping out in America or in in anywhere of the country because you label them as a group instead of you know some lone individual who decided to do some um, stupid stuff and you know terrorize the, a group of people I mean if you want to call them a terrorist it's fine with me but let's be fair and know Called, uh, you know the school shooting in America a terrorist act as well uh, and any anything that terrorize a bunch of people and fear for their safety it's a terrorist attack a terrorist attack doesn't need to be only a Muslim attack <laughs> as long as there's a cyber attack a uh, Russia is involved you know that's America's way of labeling the threat to add further to the case it's those guys who decided to be suicide bombers man in a way they are also a victim if you start to look at the whole hierarchy of all these groups, organizations which some, which I believe some are not even organizations man, they are just lone warriors who carry out deeds because they feel in a certain way that they are doing it for their religion and no ISS comes, comes in and claim the attack it's so easy to claim an attack these days um, those suicide bombers on a, on a mission it's uh they are kind of the victim too you know if you just put yourself in their shoe i mean um you have to be you know really brainwashed you know to kill yourself just to kill some a group of people man like it's your life oh shit this guy looks up yeah so it's your life so you basically do something that kills yourself you know it's like trying to commit suicide man you, there's no way you can get into get to understand the hate of these people because 
for one to kill themselves is not an easy task man so in a way they are a victim of you know brainwashing or sometimes a victim of bully you know when you see your friends getting bullied because of their religion you feel kind of fucked up and you want exact revenge you know that kind of the amount of hate you have it's so it's so much hate you have that you decided to kill yourself just to kill a bunch of people you don't even know you know it's like the columbine shooting you know those those so so and so called nerds they get bullied by their their you know their seniors you know, and decided to you know get a machine gun or a handgun and just go rampage on the school it's exactly the same thing man all this bullying of people because of their religion have to stop because it's not helping and the real threats are those islamic scholars or teachers or so so called teachers you know preaching hate and you know preaching um how to fight for your religion that kind of bullshit you know you don't fucking fight for religion man like they actually encourage someone to fight for their religion what the fuck is that man like and the other ones who hide behind the you know the closed doors enjoying their life while they have their people you know commit all this stupidity you know of doing you no know, suicide missions killing themselves for like fucking no reason on social media itself there are cases where um, videos preaching so, yeah, i'm late spinning here let me just just kind of so i've seen um the way certain islamic videos i call it uh preaching about how great their religion was in the past you know there was one that, is, that went viral i think about how a mus i mean a muslim you no know, dominant uh let's say call it a country like, i don't think they call it a country last time but basically this this group who fights for their own religion you know because of certain things that happen and you know the way they put it across it's how to say it's make it so patriotic you know to want to fight you know they call them warriors of islam or whatever shit they call it and i too hate that because i mean why are you so proud of war why do you preach islam you no know, i'm not too sure about islam or what but i do know that war is never good you know to you not know, to glorify something like a war it's it adds to the you know that that patriotic feeling of young muslims you know, maybe they think they should fight for it as well you know causing them to do all this nonsensical shit these days you not know, all these videos i'm not too sure whether the video is a propaganda video or what but to me it sounds like a propaganda video <coughs> i mean as long as you glorify war there is bound to be some teenagers who think violence is the way is the way man when you glorify war you know there are bound to be some young muslims who think like oh yeah i should know i should do the same you know probably not a good thing you no know, to watch videos are like this man so so i commented on that video and like i mean in the islamic world in the past man they are great scientists you know great astronomers great mathematicians and i i don't see them sharing that kind of shit i mean in the past those arab countries those they 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 are fucking smart people man they know a lot of mathematics you know astronomy and you know, all that kind of shit man I mean, they are the first i'm not too sure about that but i have heard from a documentary they are the first few guys who actually you know have advancement in those astronomy study mathematician studies and stuff they were actually genius you know but when it comes to the modern day videos man is they don't share about all this shit they only share about what was you know how how great the islamic country wars in the past no fighting wars and shit but there are other great things other than violence in the world of muslims man there are a lot of great scientists you can share you know to motivate people i mean they should be sharing this kind of stuff man i hope that people will you know share the great thing about you now all the olden days you no know, all the 
Muslims, all the scientists, how brilliant they were, all the advancement they make in science. You know, that 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 it's that itself it's worth sharing, man. It's knowledge. There were great knowledge in the world of Muslim in the past, man. But now it's it's like they're they're sharing on sharing on hate war and stuff. Yeah, in a propaganda video. I think which is a propaganda war, oh my god, it's all about wars and how glorifying they were fighting for the Muslim states or whatever shit. Damn it, man. That's, I mean, it disgusts me because, like, why do you want to glorify war? We want to share, share something about how great they were, how great of a scientist they were in the past. To share about all these wars and shit. And to stop categorizing them as terrorists. If you want to call them terrorists, you can call the rest of the 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 terrorists terrorists. You know those people who kill a bunch of people. You call them fucking terrorists as well. You know because they are terrorists. Don't just label Muslims as terrorists. Because some of them have just been going through some serious problems. You know they say do all this shit. Yes, they are terrorists. But if you want to call them terrorists, please call the rest terrorists as well. Because they themselves have committed mass murder so I want to say it's stop all the wow, ultra Singapore <laughs> to continue my conversation about the way media portray terrorists or Muslims in a way it's really unfair for them and I would like to you know just to bring awareness about you know, certain stuff that um, social media has been showing and affecting maybe youths in the Muslim community where they speak of wars and stuff about the olden good the good old days you know about wars and stuff glorifying the wars and everything it's basically a uh, kind of bad influence in a way uh, but it's better to just share more about the you know the knowledge about all the modern all the muslims you know all the arabs islam how they actually excel in a lot of scientific research and more open you know they are more open to all kinds of research you know astronomy mathematics and everything related to science they are extremely good scientists use that as a motivating factor man and that's all i have for you guys for today i hope i have not offended anyone in any way but all i have to say is the media is always portraying the wrong stuff man they are always showing portraying a certain group of people you know as something they are not and that's the end of my topic for today and I hope you like it uh, it's fasting months for the Muslim people and I don't know how to say it but I uh, hope you guys have a fruitful Ramadan and yeah that's all I have to say goodbye